Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Radiant Historia, Perfect Chronology. Let's head on back to Historia. Last time, Lipty and Teal told us about the Vault of Time. So, let's check it out. Heading to the Vault of Time? Yeah, let's see what the problem is there. Best of luck to you, Stock. Please, help out the guard. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, this dungeon is exclusive to the 3DS version of the game, and you can get some pretty good rewards out of it. It looks exactly just like the rest of Historia. Floating staircases and all everywhere. Where's the door, anyway? I mean, this is a vault. Or maybe it used to be. I don't know. But we'll see what we got. So this is the Vault of Time. Apparently. Ah! I was about to say, where's the guard? Ah, there you are. You must be the guard. What's going on here? How's it going? Uh, nuts. One monster! I think one monster doesn't constitute a jailbreak. Don't worry, I'll deal with them. Well, I suppose it can, but... I would think a jailbreak would mean everyone, or a lot of people, are trying to break out of jail. But alright, before going up there though, one nice thing about the Vault of Time is that you can use any characters you want from either timeline. So that's pretty nice. That makes this dungeon a pretty good way to bring characters up to speed that you haven't been using as much. That was one thing about the original version of the game, was some characters were just mandated to not be usable at certain parts of the plot, and as a result, they would fall behind. But thanks to this dungeon, you can bring them up to speed without a problem. So that's pretty nice. So let's take care of the goblins. Rampage ends here. And your jailbreak. For mini boss time. Okay, now if I had a turn before both of these guys, I would have Ott use Polaris against them, but I didn't, so that's that. But okay, so to deal with these guys, uh, instead I will just use Left Assault. Let's put Ott's traps to use with the electric trap. The way they work is you put them down on a tile that isn't occupied. You can't put them on top of an enemy unless the tile was already not occupied before. But then you move the enemies onto that trap and you deal massive damage to them that way. The drawback is that they only work on enemies that can be moved. So, yeah. that about does it. But it's not much to worry about. They're still really, really good. If you can use them, do so. <laughs> yeah, two goblins. It's totally unprepared for two. Oh, what's this? Hey, more MP restoring items that I'll never use. Well, I might use them, but not likely. So this is the Vault of Time? Is there an echo in the building? Well, I suppose there wouldn't be. Yes. There's no walls for the sound to echo off of or reflect off of. How powerful could they possibly be? Answer, Barry. Well, okay. I could tell. Things seem to have gotten quite out of hand. Yeah, with just two goblins. <laughs> well, there's other monsters around here. Oh, how do we do that? Why do you say that? <laughs> you got that? Oh, yeah. You might have noticed at the end of the battle, they dropped mementos instead of, like, gold or normal currency. The mementos are essentially an alternate currency exclusive to the Vault of Time. In other words, you'll give me items for exterminating monsters. And the stuff you yeah. can get here is really, really good. I'm guessing that's why they had the regular enemies give less money, so that fighting the enemies here would be more worthwhile. Light corridor? I assume that means there are other corridors here as well. 
<laughs> so for now, we only have access to the white corridor, which are three floors of monsters. Yeah. And each floor can have at least four battles. There are exceptions, but usually they'll have four monsters on them. Or four potential fights you can, well, fight. Y yeah. Oh yeah, I was about to say, where's the door? How do we get back in this place? Oh yeah. Okay, so just talk to him and that'll be that. <laughs> now let's see, if you do try to leave here though, yeah, any mementos that you haven't spent will be lost. So whatever you want to get here, you have to do in one trip or lose your mementos, heal up, and then come back. Uh, let's see, another thing about the Vault of Time is that you cannot use items here. So yeah, they really restrict that on you here. You can't use them inside or outside of battle either. But you can use skills for, like, healing and stuff. So, let's see. Yeah, you took a bit of a hit there. That ought to be good enough for now. So, let's take a look at what we got here at the Vault of Time. Let's see. We've got a new enemy there, Sting. Those guys can damage your Mana Burst Gauge. So, I would not recommend fighting them for mementos. You got the goblins there, the hunters. They can often be accompanied by another enemy called Bloody that can drain your MP, so I would not recommend fighting them either. Also, if you try to go to another floor of the Vault of Time, uh, the enemies past this point are immensely more difficult at this point in the game, especially since I'm under level. So instead, I would recommend fighting these guys. Okay, this is a pretty bad formation, but we'll make it work. Okay, so what I want to do here, part of the way that I have arranged my equipment, is that I gave Stock enough magic stat so that he could one-shot those... What are they? Yeah, Rose Balsams in one hit. They are weak to fire! So, if you don't kill them quickly enough, they will explode you! But otherwise, nothing uh, too extraordinary. You just want to kill them with fire if you can. Let's see. Okay, so... Yeah, let's do this. I'm going to try and steal some items with At. Not because I actually care about the items, but because I want you to listen to her battle quote when she's trying to steal. Because I don't know what she's saying when she does that. Okay, what is that? A foom? Kaboom? A, a boom? What is she saying there? I don't know. Maybe she's speaking Satyros there or something. I don't know. Okay, so those guys are the only enemies that I would actually recommend fighting in there. Otherwise, yeah, I'm going to take some time to farm up to 600 mementos. Let me see if I can't get a better formation there to demonstrate it more. Okay, I can't do that now. But yeah, in order to respawn the enemies, just leave the floor, come back, boom, you're all set and ready to go again. And unfortunately, that is the only spot where blue leeches will spawn. One more time, otherwise I'll just skip to when I do find them. Okay, now here's a better battle where we actually got the jump on these guys. So what I want to do, let's see, let's switch with the blue leech there, get them out of the way. Now, if both Rose Balsams are on the same row, you don't need fire to deal with them. Or they could be on the same column, either way. So what I want to do is use that. Then, let's see, let's have... No, actually, hold on, let's... Yeah, let's go after the one in the back there, so just attack. And then another hit with Stock should take him out. Then let's see, Stock should be able to take out the other one with just a regular attack. 
And let's see, why don't you go after the blue leech there? Now, one other thing about blue leech, if you leave them alive for too long, they can summon another enemy called Fly Eater. And one thing you could do is just sit around, like defend over and over and over again until they do summon them. And you could do that to farm mementos, but the thing is, is that, well, as you can see, they don't always try to summon them. And as a result, it will just take longer to farm mementos that way. I would just kill the one battle you got here, leave, come back, and just keep on repeating that until you do get all the mementos you need. And, yeah, like I said, uh, in order to get all the mementos, or all the items that I want to get here, I need 600. So I'll take care of that and be right back. Huh. Yay! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, I've got to hear her say that. Yeah, that's one of Ott's victory quotes that I, uh, man, I just wanted to show you guys while I was farming there. I just, she's just so adorable. Like, yeah! Eh, if that's the most embarrassing thing you hear me say today, viewers, cheering like a little girl, you're lucky. All the choices I can ask for. What does it even mean, all the choices I could ask for? What, all the choices of people I can murder? Monsters? I don't know. Okay, we're back. I farmed up to 600 mementos. So, let's see what we can get here now that I've gotten everything that I want. Let's see. The accessory that I want are the Lizard Charms. Those are really nice because they boost both your attack and your magic stat and give you a nice little speed boost, too. So, that's pretty nice. So I want to get six of those, and those will last us for a long time. So let's see, let's get a few for you, get a few for out there. And yeah, that's all I want to get there. There are some other good, good things. Uh, by the way, the reason why I didn't buy horn or fang charms up to this point is because of the lizard charms. They are just so much better than either of them by themselves. There's some other stat boosts you can get from these things, but nothing extraordinary. Usually, if I want to buy something at the Vault of Time, I want it to have some sort of unique property that I can't get elsewhere. Like, we got all these weapons here, but yeah, they boost your MP, but I don't care about that. So, otherwise, they're really just there for the raw stats, which we already get from regular weapons and armor here. And I don't really care about the minor HP boost either. So, yeah, I don't really care much about all that stuff. But it's there. You could buy it if you want. I'm guessing that's why they didn't... Uh, what is it? They made the enemy regular enemies give less money so that the stuff you can buy here would be more appealing in that respect. But let's see. I do have some extra mementos. So let's buy some holy waters. Might as well spend them. If you don't do so, you're going to lose them. Uh, let's see. We also got these items here that can teach you some skills. They're one-time use items. But I don't think they're that extraordinary. At least not right now. I will eventually buy them. But I would not go out of my way for them. They are much more expensive than I really want to afford at this point. So let's not worry about that. Let's return to Historia. <laughs> And let's see, I want to heal up. You've returned, stop. Just in case, do you want to? No, I, I don't need to. Just return back to the uh, the sand fortress here to rest up. And then let's check up with Nemesia. If you recall, uh, I don't... I forget if it was last time or the time before. Whatever. Uh, yeah, she had a side quest for us to do. So let's head on over there to help her out. Usually, she will get new side quests between chapters. 
there are some exceptions. Sometimes her side quests get unlocked by completing a side quest in the main storyline. Or there's like one instance where they get unlocked before finishing a chapter. So I'll point those out when I get to there. Well then, let's begin. Well, let's see what we can get here. Oh, okay. I guess we only get the one side quest for now. I think this is one of those instances where when you complete this side quest, it'll unlock another one. So that also sometimes happens. So she'll just have a list of side quests that are available for you to complete. So let's start with this one. Ready for your next assignment? By the way, when you see the reward there, that's what you get after completing the side quest. But you can only... I think you can only get that reward once. That would be pretty abusive if you could do it multiple times. Now then, I take it this ship is going to carry us across the sea in search of artifacts, yes? Not exactly, but I'll give you an A for effort. Do they still give grades for effort in school? It's actually much more incredible than that. I didn't really get A's for effort. I'll be honest with you, viewers. Things came easy to me. All right, close your eyes until I say it's okay. Why? <laughs> I, I just like how he says it, like he's so suspicious of her. Come on, just trust me and close your eyes. Hurry up already. <laughs> I like her angry face. If you insist. I like everyone's angry face. <laughs> so are we just going to be sailing the sea? Okay, you can open them. Whoa! Where'd the ocean go? Incredible. Did we reach the bottom of a world in Minecraft? No. No. We don't have that in this game. Each star represents a world that has been or could be. A multiverse of possibilities. Is that relevant? The artifacts we'll be hunting are somewhere in those worlds. Ah. And this ship lets us explore their infinite potentialities. Yeah, that would explain why it's called Possible Worlds. So this is what you had in mind when you mentioned it was far more incredible than the sea. In the White Chronicle. <laughs> Surprised? The Dunamis can navigate space and time itself. So it's a time machine, then. You're going to Alistel, albeit one that diverged in some way from the histories you know. Well, what do you mean by that? Therefore, people and places may be different than you remember. So don't blow your cover, okay? So is this like an alternate universe or a parallel reality? I've had extensive practice in that already. <laughs> yeah, it's my job! Good. Then let's review today's lecture before you disembark. In the world you'll be exploring is an artifact. A relic created by Imperial Sorcerers. What does it look like? It holds a clue to the mystery of the continent's destruction. So find the artifact and bring it back to me. Any questions? How do I know what it'll look like? How will I know when I've encountered the artifact? <laughs> Close enough. An excellent question. The prism I gave you will take care of that. Very well then. Also, make sure you come back as soon as you get the artifact. I will. Well, let's get it on then. Well then, have a safe trip. Good luck to you. I wonder if this is more like what the game designers were originally thinking of doing with the game. Because, like, I heard when they were developing the game, they wanted to have, like, a bunch of different timelines. But Atlas said, no, that would be too confusing. Keep it down to two timelines. But, yeah, now we get to do a whole bunch of stuff. Hey, Stock. Have you given any thought to the SI restructure? What restructure? Um, pardon? What? Did you forget our chat? I told you that once I became general, I'd pull some strings and make you head of the SI. Oh, wow. You you really are a Major Captain General. I was just joking with you, man. Remember? It's been a long road, but now that I'm finally here, we can make that happen. You're the general? Why are you so surprised? You were front and center back in my inauguration, weren't you? Oh, I, I, uh, yeah, yeah, of, of course I was. So I guess I'm just taking Stock's place in this world 
not like there's multiple stocks around here. <laughs> I know I'm not the most stately guy in town, but that hesitation still stings a little. <laughs> He's just messing with you, Rash. My apologies. Well then, General Rosh, pray continue. <laughs> Are you making fun of him? <laughs> hey, you don't need to address me like that. It doesn't feel right coming from you. Uh, yeah, that's true. Wait, you're just pushing my buttons on purpose, aren't you? <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> oh, you're such a troll, Stack. <laughs> Jeez. Anyway, about the restructuring. The plan is to oust Heiss and reassign you to his post. How are we going to pull that off? Honestly, that man has raised a lot of red flags. Yeah, especially with so many people around him dressed in red. You're getting rid of Heiss? Sorry, but I can't agree to that without any further evidence. Well, Heiss is rather accomplished, yes, but I just can't trust him. Why not? Sonia's worried too. Even she thinks working under him is dangerous. Come on, Stock. Shouldn't we investigate first? Now that you mention it, where is Sonia? This is her office, isn't it? Well, she said she'd take care of some business and come right back. Hmm, it's taking her so long. Eh, I wouldn't worry about her. She's probably just delayed. We should check up on her. But all right, we could do that too. Why not? Now, one of the nice things about uh, these parallel worlds that we go to, you can use any party members you want. So this is another point where you could use any party members you want to bring them up to speed. In this case, I want to go with Stock, Ott, and Marco there. And yeah, I'll worry about setting up their equipment later. And yeah, we got a save point here that wasn't there before when we were trying to leave the room there. But can we find the first artifact for Nemesia? Find out next time on Let's Play Radiant Historia. Perfect chronology. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.